Ladies and gentlemen, your co-main event of the evening is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in Glory's lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, a lightweight world champion making his second Glory appearance. His professional record, 11 wins versus just one loss. At five feet eight inches tall, 1.75 meters, he weighed in at 154 pounds, 69.9 kilos. Fighting out of Romania, here is Soren Ronan Kalinja. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner. His finisher, Michael Yerk, at Glory 49, won the knockout of the year. His professional record, 18 wins with six losses. Six of those wins coming by way of knockout. At five feet, 10 inches tall, 1.80 meters, he weighed in at 154 pounds, 69.9 kilos. Fighting out of Bulgaria, ladies and gentlemen, here is Stoyan, the sniper, Koblenski. And the third man inside the ropes, your referee is Tomislav Novosel. Fighters, gentlemen, you know the rules, please follow my command, okay? Touch your gloves if you want to step back in the corner. Here we go, Stoyan Kaprovinsky in the white gloves, Soren Kalinyuk in the black. You can see already the height and reach, advantage going to Stoyan. How can Kalinyuk work his way inside? The atmosphere in the arena is crazy. Everybody is here to Stoyan, every single person. It's even more crazy than when Father came in. <laughs> You're right. I mean, you got to think, every time Stoyan's going to land something, we're going to hear the crowd erupt. Yeah, Stoyan told me before the fight, every time I hit him, say, ooh-wee, like in Thailand. <laughs> yeah, get that crowd excited. You can already see here Stoyan using the distance and the kicks more than Sorin. Sorin needs to find a way to counter him when he comes in. This fight, he's, he's got abs on abs, veins on veins. Yeah, he's great you shape. can see he's ready, and you can see already a Sorin, bit more of the boxing guy. Of course, uses the legs, but a bit more power puncher with boxing. Yep. Stoyan staying long and technical, which was one of my main keys for him tonight. He wants to keep that long range with those front kicks, the jab, and keep sliding out like that. This is kind of the classical, what we have, kicker against puncher, tempo against power, precision. There's those counters we were talking about for Soren. For now, it looks that Soren doesn't have any, any, any clearance for Stoyan techniques. Stoyan is doing mostly whatever he wants. Kalinyuk there in the red shorts looking for that overhand right. Oh, mostly for his boxing, but we're seeing that left kick come alive. Here comes Stoyan with those big punches and knees. Sorin, I think, needs to pressure a little bit better with that high guard. Just makes him go back, cut him to the corner, and then throw a big combination. Or make him miss and make him pay. Yep, I agree. He can't just keep moving back. He needs to keep bringing that pressure. Here comes Stoyan, though, but... Kalinyuk countering back right away. And we already know that Soyan can keep this pace the whole fight, even for the five rounds. He's a really good tempo fighter kind of guy with the long leg kicks. Like it when Stoyan uses those long front kicks too with those long legs. One of the things we've seen with Stoyan since he came to glory, his boxing keeps getting better as well. Yeah, he's, a, he's not classical like a power puncher, but he kills you with a tempo. High, low, kicks, knees, everything, and a lot of combinations. And yeah, makes you guess if he's going to box, kick, or knee you up the middle. Sharp pull counters from Kapovinsky. As Kalinyuk waves his head to say no. Great round for Stoyan, yeah, in my you. opinion. This was his round. We see the judges agree or not. 
Here's Stoyan Koprovinsky, the sniper, currently ranked number three in the world. Born and raised in Borgas, Bulgaria. First fight here from 2015. So the dream come true, selling out the stadium to fight here in kickboxing. Just a beautiful moment. His opponent tonight, Soren Kalinya Ronin. This is his nickname, signature strike, that left hook. He's a two-time Romanian national boxing champion. You can see he wants to use his hands, but Stoyan's distance has been well, forcing Kalinja to kick a little bit more, which, like Antonio was saying, he's either got to pressure a little bit more if he wants to get it done. I want to see what's going to happen in the second round, what advice Sorin Koren gave to him, what? and what he will do next. He needs to make some adjustments. We have Koprovlinski in the white gloves, Kalinja in the black. All the judges giving it to Koprovlinski. As he gets ahead, Kalinja! Kalinja! Three, four, five, six, 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 seven, eight. Low rock fighting. Not the first time he did it, and I'm sure not the last time. And here's the crowd's alive. Stoyan is trying to open up with his combinations. He's been keeping Kaluniuk from guessing as he takes his high kick upstairs. Sorin, really good with it after the knockdown. He just get up and continue like nothing happened. And there's the crowd cheering on Stoyan. They want a knockout. Oh, good knee with Stoyan to the body and to the head. Yep, he makes the first one to the head, the second one went to the liver. Now he's going to use those front kicks to set up those knees. Stoyan just, he needs to be careful, not to open too much to get the big counter for Sorin if he wants to win. Yeah, Sorin Kalinjuk found some left hooks there in these exchanges. But Stoyan goes back upstairs for the head kick. You can see that Sorin is dangerous all the time. Even when he eats a high kick, he throws a full power right hook after it. Yep, he makes sure if he's going to eat one, he's going to give you something back. You're gonna eat one working your way in. You better throw something. I would just like to see him more do more pressure and cut the corner for Storm and make him pay for his mistake. Ooh, he found a good right hand, Kalinja. Maybe even some low kicks or calf kicks from Kalinja could do well. Right now he's just concentrating on boxing, nothing else. And after that left hook, left hook counter, I would like to see a little bit more combination. Left hook, right straight, left up. I agree, the single shot's not enough. He needs to kind of step in. See, he misses, but he needs to follow it up. Like that, yeah. put those combinations together. Nice counter game for both gentlemen. It looks like Stein is just right now picking him apart. Yeah, he's really looking for those knees. You see him go up, down, hands, legs, middle kicks. Yeah, front kick, round kick, head yeah. kicks. Good strike variety from Stoyan Koprovlinski. Makes you guessing all the fight. Stoyan starting to use some feints now. Kalinjuk needs to find a way to enter and counter. There's something there, he's pressuring. It was just a slip. Yeah, especially when Kaplinski is slipping back. He's got to be careful. Stone is looking ready. I think he stole the second round also. But now he looks like a better guy. Here we go. We have Collision 6 coming your way. November 4th, new bleacher tickets have gone on sale now for the king of kickboxing, Rico Verhoeven's return to glory for Collision 6 taking place Saturday, November 4th from the Helder Dome in the Netherlands. He takes on interim title holder, Kuki Osaro, for the unified heavyweight title. Two other title fights will also take place as we unify the light heavyweight division as Donaghy Abena takes on Tariq Kebabes, Donovan Visa takes on Michael Boapea, for more information, go to glorykickboxing.com. Oh, we can see here the highlights on the round. And Stoyan, like one guy, 
Smart set already, what? more combination than McDonald's McMenu. <laughs> there you go. I like that one. More combinations than McDonald's menu is Stoyan Koprivlinski as he's up 10-8 from round two. 2017 on all five judges. Yeah, big round for Stoyan. Just not needs to keep the fight till the end, and he won the fight easy. I think Stoyan would still open up, or is the technical approach? He is, he is a technical approach, but because of his home crowd, I think he will try to finish the fight. Yeah, I think once the crowd starts cheering, I think he's going to start going. He ju just needs to watch out to not open too much for something silly to happen. It will be a shame for all of this he did till now. But at the same time, if I was in his shoes, I would be going forward. Yeah, sometimes, though, it's your offense is the good defense. If you lay back too much, you're going to let Kalinja come forward like that. We now see Kalinja just going forward and hitting a good shot from Stoyan. It looks like he finally found his rhythm. Yep, Stoyan using that high guard, chopping away with his legs and knees. But Kalinja is continuing to press forward. Kalinja needs to keep this pressure up if he wants to win. Just keep hitting up, down, low kicks. Cannot be concentrating just on hands. Kalinyuk needs something big here. Now when he comes in with him, it's a little, little longer combination to catch Stoyan. Because Stoyan is longer, he exits and gets so much out. You can see Kalinyuk continuing to pressure. He has to get inside, but... He needs to bring more offense. I know he's tired, but Stoyan laying back is giving him an opportunity. Yeah, Stoyan is now on the back leg going going out. And it, it's a risky situation to get hit from the right hand now and get you down. I think Stoyan is trying to keep it safe a little bit. Ooh. Trying to keep it safe, but he just ate a big shot there. More effort. Not to put the body language from Stone right now. The body language for Sorin look much better right now. First strike, first fight, it looking like they landed the same amount, but it's damage that matters. Oh, oh slip from Kopkinski there in the what? corner. We have 15 seconds left in this fight. And we see what Sorin can do, some surprising. Just moving backwards, picking a shot. As Stoyan Kopravinsky gets a win here at home, avenges his loss. It's got to be a beautiful feeling yeah. for the sniper. He got to prove his point and to show everybody that he is a better fighter and also in front of his home crowd. Must be amazing feeling for him. I am a little bit jealous of him right now. Yeah, I can, I can tell. I'm always jealous. I never had this opportunity to be able to fight in Canada. Where I'm from in Ontario, it's still illegal. Yeah. So it's great to see Stoyan. He deserves it. He's got a huge following and a fan base here in Bulgaria. And he was able to put on a show for his home. You can see the enjoyment on his face now and how happy and satisfied he is. Great fight from Stoyan, a great performance. All right, well, we're going to make this fight official when we come back. We welcome you back to Glory 89 as we just finished our co-main event as Stoyan Koprivlinski took on Soren Kalinjuk. I think the mistake Soren did, he wake up a little too late the same as Tavares. He's supposed to start with that pressure and everything he was doing in a second round if he wanted to win. You can see that it started working, but Stoyan just did so much point before that it was too late for everything. Yep, Stoyan's offense was fantastic in those first two rounds. Really didn't give Calunio much, but in this third round, he came alive. Yeah, he wake up and just decided, I go forward, don't stake, not, don't going to make a stack back and just going to finish him. But it was too late for that. Well, a fantastic fight and a great moment for Stoyan Kopravlinski. Antonio, take us through the stats. Uh, 
here we can see uh, it's a similar stat, 199 of 176 thrown between both fighters. Stoyan did more damage, did the knockdown with the beautiful high kick he threw and the set it up great. Here we see in round three, it's all similar, but in round three, Sorin really put the gas on the pedal and started to hit more and did more pressure. He needed to do that before if he wanted to win the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes the distance, so we go to the judges' scorecard. Here now are the totals from our five ringside judges. One judge scores the bout 30-26. The four remaining judges all see it 29-27. For your winner, by unanimous decision, Stoyan Kowalski! Stoyan, this has to be a big moment for you. You're here at home. You got to be excited. Give me your thoughts here at fighting and winning here in your hometown. It's amazing. It's amazing. The Bulgarian crowd are, are just a different level. I feel the support and love uh, the whole three rounds. If I got to be honest, the third round was a little bit hard for me for the, if I compare with the first two. Uh, but I feel the support, so I give everything. This was a rematch here. How did you feel this fight went compared to the first? And were you happy with your performance? Yeah, I'm happy. I still got the win. I did a knockdown, but uh, I, uh, I wanted to go for a knockout. But uh, uh, Sorin is a good, good opponent, great opponent. So he's uh, also trained very hard for this fight. So I'm happy, I'm happy with this decision. All right, with a big win here, where do you want to move from here? What's next for Stoyan? Uh, I guess uh, I got to go or, or, or for the belt or, uh, or Enrico Kell is number one contender right now. Uh, I want to fight with him. All right, Stoyan, this is a special moment for you. I want to address your fans and everybody in Bulgaria who came to support you and give them some Bulgarian as well. Bulgari, благодарявич сте тук за ата. Да, да. Ета подкрепа усещах, ета подкрепа усещах целите три рунда, за което съм ви много благодарен. Страхотни сте, обичам ви да живее Бulgaria. All right, Stoyan, we need to know what that was said in English for people like me who don't understand Bulgarian. I said uh, that the, they're a great public. Uh, I feel the support the, the whole the whole fight. Uh, I love them, and uh, I feel uh, and uh, Bulgaria is great. All right, this is your moment. Any last words, Stoyan? Uh, All right, let's hear it for your winner, Stoyan Kaprovinsky.